Hey Flutes, thanks for tuning in for another video. Today, we're on our Accent Book 1, page number 16. This page has a term, Ritardando, or the abbreviation RIT, at the upper left-hand corner. Ritardando means to gradually slow down the tempo. Another term and symbol that we learn in the purple box is fermata. That's the half circle with a dot. It means to hold the note a little bit longer, and you'll see that one later on today's page. Finally, pickup notes. Today's concept is pickup notes for sure. Many of our exercises have pickups. And what is the pickup note? Well, it's a note or notes that precede the first full measure of a song. Precede means they come before. So it's the note or notes that come before the first full measure in a song. Number 54, patterns with pickups, is a song that has a pickup note. Now, to play a pickup note, it's really quite simple. You're gonna count yourself in like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then you play where you would say the number four. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Did you remember from our last lesson page that a dotted half note got three beats? Great if you did. If not, practice this one again and remember to hold your dotted half notes for three beats. Also, how did you do with the pickup? Good. We're going to get more practice with that now with the next exercise. Number 55 also has a pickup note. This one's a little different though because we're in a different time signature. We're in 3-4 time. So here's how I'll count us in. I'll count like this. One, two, three, one, two. Then we play where the three would go for our first note. Join me. Carnival of Venice, number 55. One, two, three, one, two. Well done. The next song is one of my favorites on this page. It's the Jolly Old St. Nicholas Traditional Carol, number 56, and uses a lot of those eighth notes. One and two and, one and two and. Let's try it. One, two, ready, set, play. <laughs> That one sure is fun to play, and if you'd like, you can rewind and play it again as many times as you'd like. Make sure you master it. Next up is the Snake Charmer, and 
It's the chance we get to use the fermata that we talked about at the top of the page. Look at the very last note, C. We're gonna hold that note longer. So make sure that you get to there and hold that note with me. Now, also, this piece has some pickups. They're not quarter notes, but eighth notes. So here's how this will go. I'm gonna count us in like this. One, two, three. And then you'll begin playing your eighth notes on four and. Let's try it. One, two, three. Great job holding that note out a little longer. We also did a little bit of a ritardando, where he gradually slowed down. Next up is an American folk song called Bill Grogan's Goat. It's a funny title, I know. This song has three pickup notes. To start, I'll count one, two, three, four, one, and we'll play two, three, four, C, D, and A. So here we go, Bill Grogan's Goat. One other thing, the E in Bill Grogan's goat is E natural, like we learned before. E natural is different than E flat. So check out your fingering guide for E natural. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. How'd you do? That one had you playing a lot of long held out notes. Make sure you take big breaths so that you can hold those notes out for five counts. Last up is our accent on flute. So we've got a first and second ending and some eighth notes. Here we go. One and two, ready and play. If you'd like some more practice on that technique, like number 59, check out page 42, number three and four. There are some extra exercises that will help you grow and develop your technique. So I hope this video is helpful and you'll use it again if you need to. Remember that you're gonna grow as a flute player the more you practice. So until I see you next time, keep practicing.